family. Rose is in the house looking dapper and pretty. She has her bib on. She's ready for food. And guess what? Daddy's ready for food. Mommy's ready for food. Uncle Art's ready for food. Tacos to be exact. Babe, we're gonna make tacos. We're gonna make fish tacos. Guacamole, slaw, really easy dinner, right? Uh, but make it delicious because that's what quarantine is all about. Looking forward to a fantastic homemade meal. Rose had a great nap tonight. Pretty much slept through the night last night, right, Ben? Mm -hmm. And she's doing great. She's look, what's she looking at over there? She's looking at Uncle Farturo. Hey. And Whoa, look at looks look at Art's t-shirt. Look at Daddy's t-shirt here. Ah. Huh? And Art has yours ever been worn though? Art is, still has the tags on his from 2016. He's never worn it. How funny is that? Oh, Everyone yeah. say hi to Art. <laughs> Staying safe at home there, per the governor's right. orders. Um, so today's video is going to be great because it's another quarantine with me. Where else do you want to be at a four o'clock in the afternoon besides here? But let's raise a lot of money for a charity that I'm going to tell you about all throughout the stream. 100% of the donations will go to them. Do not send any super chats tonight. Send them to me personally on PayPal or Venmo. I'm going to match everything up to $200 and we're going to send it over on tomorrow's live stream tonight. So Art, do you know about this tonight? I do know about this, man. Yeah, so last night on uh, the news... I saw a story about Feed the Fight, and it's an amazing charity started by a woman that helps restaurants, local restaurants, of course, and uh, first responders in the hospitals who aren't getting a chance to eat and stay uh, you know, up to the nutrition, and it helps everyone. It helps the small businesses who are struggling. It helps the first responders, and 100% of the money goes to them. So throughout the stream, anything you can donate, $1, $2, $20, do not send me a super chat because YouTube takes 20% of that. Please send me PayPal or Venmos at my personal email. And I'm going to keep track of those all night long. Call them out. And then tomorrow night, uh, we'll send one big uh, payment over to them as a big family. So please leave a comment down below if you haven't done so yet. And please say hello to the lovely and talented Desi Slava in the house. We're going to make I one guess. of her favorite fish tacos tonight, right, yes, sweetie? Yes, fish tacos tonight. She loves salmon them. Salmon tacos. Right, salmon tacos. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Look at this one. She said, don't forget about me. Let Rose know where you're watching from. All that good stuff. Oh, let's see here. We oh, the portrait. Yes. I'll show you that in a minute. Rose's salmon. Yep. And then I got a lovely gift in the mail today. Cindy and Wayne from Texas. I don't know. Can you see this art? Look, man. They sent over... A homemade sketch of Rose. That's from an, uh, they said a Facebook photo I posted oh, a couple cool. weeks ago. That's her famous popcorn sweater. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you to them all the way from Texas. They sent that. It's a beautiful uh, drawing. We really thank appreciate you, that. You. That should be the new cover of the book with Rose there too. I like that. <laughs> okay, so let's get rocking and rolling. We're making salmon tacos. I'm going to get out. Some of that really good uh, Norwegian farm salmon. They're actually going to sponsor the live stream next week. So you can use any kind of fish you want. Traditionally, fish tacos are deep fried and they're made with uh, cod. Cod is a pretty high mercury fish. And Desi and I have been making them lately with really fatty salmon. Now, we've talked about this before. If you're going to eat salmon or farm salmon, I should say. It's got to be high quality. And this company that sponsored a bunch of content lately, not this one today, uh, makes really exceptional high quality farm salmon that has 20% more omega acids, omega threes. And we'll talk about that next week, but it makes a mean taco because unlike wild salmon, which can dry out really easily, that looks like, look at that, with the fat in there, it looks like sashimi. It's wow. very hard. Exactly. It's like a steak. It's very hard to overcook that, which is what you want because a lot of wild salmon like sockeye or coho is very lean. So you have to eat good quality farm salmon if you're going to eat farmed. So let's make a little Mexican inspired spice rub and let it really soak in. Soak it up, right? Let's come to the spice you're over here, Ben. Let's do, obviously, which one am I going to go for? You guys call it. Which one is going to be my first spice? It's going to be... I wasn't, actually, I wasn't thinking turmeric tonight. I was thinking ancho. I'm thinking smoked paprika, but where is it? 
Mm, anyone see it? Smoke. Oh, here it is. Smoked cumin, paprika. Julie says. Yep. Paprika. And showed chili paprika, powder. Paprika, cumin. And cumin. Mexican, how, about, yeah, how about some coriander? Ancho. Yep. I love ancho. So I'll tell you about the difference between ancho and just chili powder in a second. Let's get some coriander. That should do the trick, right? Really anything is going to work here. These are just some of my favorite things. These are a few of Bobby's favorite things. Look at this. I keep cracking these. These little ramekins, ramekins here. Oh, it's broken. Every like couple weeks I break a new one there. That's a shame. Um, we'll order those some more on Amazon. Now, the difference between chili powder and ancho chili powder is chili powder is a blend of many different chilies. Ancho is one specific chili. Where are my manners, Rose? I just cooked you some salmon ahead of time and I forgot to give it to you. Bobby, you could almost say that like, uh... Ancho chili powder is the chili powder what turmeric is to curry powder. Uh, well said, Art. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. There you go, sweetie. Kind of like registered and uh, certified <laughs> mail. Exactly. Thank you, Newman. You're welcome. Enjoy, my love. So we'll just make a super quick and easy spice rub here. Why is my stream not starting? Here we go. There we go. All right. Let's put in a little bit of smoked. I mean, just have a little bit of salmon here. So smoked, which is red bell pepper smoked and then dried. Ancho is not very spicy, you guys. It's more of like a fruity dried raisin. Cumin is the second most popular spice in the world. Behind what? What is the most popular spice in the world? Right ahead of cumin. Trivia number one of the night. A little bit of coriander, which is the seed where cilantro comes from. And a... That's it. I won't put chili powder in there too. So mix that up. Great flavors, right? Smoky, spicy, earthy. We'll take some unrefined. What about garlic powder? No, I don't, garlic powder is not very common in uh, Mexican cooking. I don't need that, right? But you can do it if you wanted to. A little bit of unrefined salt. What do I mean by unrefined oh, salt? Oh, they're answering, I guess. Oh. Oh. They're Pe saying garlic, pepper, pepper, Yeah, garlic, so, well, think about it. Garlic is not really a spice, spice, right? It's a vegetable that's pulverized into a powder. So it's not technically a spice. But Andrea got it. Denny got it. Uh, Eshan got it. And Deborah and Jade got it. Black pepper. Art, you liking the pepper? I like the pepper. Think about it. Black pepper is used all over the world, and that is the most popular spice which we're not gonna use in this one. <laughs> for this one. I'm bucking trends. I'm giving the underdog some love tonight. So we'll just rub that on there. And you know what I like to do? I like to put a little bit of oil on here so it marinates, but I'm gonna come over here and grab my avocado oil spray because I notice when I just need to drizzle just a little bit, I waste it. It goes like in between the plate. If I just take a spritzer, look, I just literally, I probably used what, a quarter teaspoon and I got the job done. Get her done. And then we'll flip it and do some more salt and some more spice rub. All right, we got 860 people watching here. We're making salmon tacos with an ancho chili spice rub. We're making, by the way, this recipe is paleo because I'm using paleo grain-free tortillas. Uh, we're making a creamy cabbage slaw and my rock and guacamole. And most importantly, we're doing a fundraiser. So let's raise a lot of money, not via Super Chats, but via... PayPal or Venmo, send it to me personally, and then I will send it tomorrow live stream to the cause. Feed the Fight is a cause based out of DC. They're taking 100% of profits. They're buying food from local restaurants that are struggling now. They're then sending that food to first responders in the hospitals, in the field, so they can feed, uh, get sustenance, because they're working their butt off, and it benefits the first responders and the restaurants. 100% of the money goes, which is not always the case for a lot of charities. There's no bureaucracy, there's no waste, there's no BS, right? So I'm gonna pull up over here my personal Venmo and my, uh, and my uh, PayPal here. Oh, Art, Art, Art donated 20 bucks. Thank you, Art. That was nice of Art. So Thank keep them coming. For, uh, gathering all this food. Yeah, absolutely. Do not send me any super chats. I'm gonna donate $200 also. So just keep them coming, you guys. Let's see activity. We'll keep that up here. Show the email. It's a little long for people. So let me show it again. Here yeah, just keep, keep screenshotting that. 
There we go. We got $5 from Elena, $5 from Deborah, Andreas, $10. All right. Excellent. We're up to uh, 50 bucks already or 250 bucks ready. Lisa, $2 for Rose's cuteness. That's going to the, uh, the charity also. So a little more marinade, right? Lisa, $2 for Rose's cuteness. Because I saw that on the news last night and it really resonated with me. Because a lot of charities just are very ineffective, but when you're taking the money and literally helping small restaurants and then helping the first responders, it's a win-win for everyone. All right, so guys, if you're just joining, welcome to hashtag quarantine with me. We're making fish tacos that are paleo because we're using grain-free tortillas. This one's actually keto. It's new. It's made with almond flour. And these are my favorite uh, siete that have a little cassava, so they're paleo. We're also doing uh, a red cabbage crunch slaw and a really easy guacamole with my pickled red onion hack, right? So we'll let the uh, salmon just marinate over there. In the meantime, let's get going on the, let's do the guacamole, right? So guacamole and red onions, really, really easy. But first Rose needs another bite of her salmon here. Sarah made your keto sausage McMuffin breakfast sandwiches this morning Ooh. and they were so good. Love to hear that, Sarah. Excellent. Uh, do you guys eat the skin on salmon? Normally we do. For this recipe, I'll take it off, but crispy skin salmon is not only tasty, but it's also where a lot of the omega-3 fatty acids live. Uh, California's in the house. Yeah, que rico, Sonia. It's going to be good. So for the guacamole, Christine made your kefta with 100% grass-fed lamb and Ooh. veggie peel up today. It was so tasty. Love to hear that. Fantastic, right? That sounds really good. That sounds great. So we're going to pickle the red onions for the guacamole. You've probably seen me do this before. It's a tip Desi and I learned, learned in Mexico about three years ago. So you take the red onions. I think it works best with red onions. And then you might want to do a couple extra to garnish your tacos with. And I had taquitos for lunch. If you saw on the Flav City Instagram, now we're having tacos for dinner. <laughs> Will you make another video with Thomas DeLauer? Oh, for sure. We've talked about that. We actually wanted to figure a way to do a live stream together, but I don't know how to do like a split screen live stream. Uh, then we'll get our bowl here. So instead of adding lime juice directly to the guacamole, we're gonna pickle red onions in lime juice and that's a much better way to get the acid into the party without it being overpowering. Now raise your hand if you've actually done this before. Have you done my guacamole tip? And tell me how much you liked it. We got $20 from Pam for Feed the Fight. We got $10 from Megan over on PayPal uh, donating there. So thank you. Continue the donations for Feed the Fight. 100% of the profits is going straight to those guys doing great things. I'm going to wash my lime. Got to wash everything, right? Are you part Latino? Uh, no. My Spanish is so good. My, no, my Spanish is not great. I am not Latino. Desi's Spanish is fantastic. Mine is gringo Spanish, right? <laughs> Rose, you're doing great, by the way. If you haven't said hi to Rose yet, she's crushing. She had a great night's sleep last night. You had a great nap today. Now she's eating some beautiful, yummy, fatty salmon. Right, Rose? You want to squeeze some, uh, some lime juice for me in the guacamole? Do you have a recipe for crispy skin salmon? We do. Actually, in the cookbook and on the blog. Just search Flav City crispy skin salmon, right? Anytime, in a video. In a video. Anytime you have a question, if I have a recipe, always just go on the Google machine and search Flav City plus that item. It'll pop up there, right? Huh? Que paso? Huh? Want to make a little jugo de limon? Para daddy? Hmm? Are you? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to borrow your lime juicer, and we're going to squeeze the juice of maybe, I don't know, half or one lime over here. And here's the thinking of why this works. The lime juice pickles the red onions, and that does two things. It adds enough acid to the party, and that's all you need for the guacamole, and it gets rid of that raw flavor of the onion. Because if you squeeze lime juice directly into guacamole, raise your hand, it's got a very strong acidic flavor. Limes are strong, muy fuerte, right? You don't want that very acidic flavor because the flavor of the avocado, it's delicate, muy suave. 
Y limón es muy fuerte. You don't want it to overpower, right? You just want a little bit, a little beso. A little beso de limón. That takes, does all the trick in the world. So that can pickle for 15 minutes up to two hours. Ah, oh, what do you use to keep your cutting board from moving? I use a, what is that, like a silicone or a, it's like a dish mat or something. It's a liner. A liner, some kind of plastic liner I got from Home Depot. Good question. Good question. This is, I love the cutting board. It's very heavy. Um, if you don't want to get the very, very heavy one, don't get double thick. Just get single thickness, but still get the 18 by 24 John Boo's one over on uh, my Amazon shop page, right? If you have a small cutting board to stop it from sliding around, just put a, a damp paper towel yes. under it. Great call. Now, is, let's do an experiment tonight. People say that if you put the pit of the avocado in the guacamole, it won't go brown and flush it down. Is that true, you guys? I just have a hard time understanding how that's possible, but I always think about it. Tonight, we're gonna do it, right? So, let's see here. Yeah, cabinet shelf liner, that's exactly Oh, thank you, cab, that's what it is, thank you. So, I use Shoon knives. So, go to amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. I'll have a few of these knives. These run from anywhere from a buck 25, 125 to $300. They're expensive, but they're amazing. But I have an economical one there for 15 or $30 that does the trick too. The best thing about a knife, Art, right, what's the number one thing that's most important about a chef's knife? A chef's knife or a sharp knife? Well, the second part, you, you answered the question. Oh, a, sharp, a, sharp, a, a sharp knife is a safe knife. Thank you. A sharp knife is a safe knife. So. Get yourself an Aiden chef's knife. You know, keep it honed with the honing steel, which is right next to the, uh, the knife on my Amazon shop page. And then carefully clunk it in, twist it, pinch it out, right? Just be careful. You don't want to stab it like uh, that ER photo I showed you. I showed me an ER photo one time. It was horrible. So let's see. Uh, Shaheen is here. Shaheen's in the house. Uh... They keep the pit in the guacamole. You're saying it's going to work here. But Stangman, Chris has it's not true. Well, let's see, right? If I see it start turning brown, I'll cover it. Are you on hashtag Team Chunky or Team Creamy when it comes to guacamole? I'm a chunky monkey kind of guy. I just don't like that super creamy mashed, almost like mashed potato. Or the, uh, hey, sweet, do you want some more? Ooh, do you want some avocado maybe? Yes. Ooh, Rose, que paso? Tu quieres aguacate? Tu quieres aguacate? Huh? Oh, yes. That's for you. Hay mucho, Chunkies. hay mm. mucha Sandy grasa. Mm. Mucha grasa. Hmm? Chunky, chunky. Chunky? Chunky. Sloth like chunk. All right, guys, breaking news. We got a bunch of Venmos that just came in. Scotty Boy, 20 bucks. Claudia, 25 bucks. Yesena, $20. And Tommy Dalton, $25 over on... PayPal, if you're wondering why people are sending us money personally, it's for Feed the Fight charity, you guys. Money goes straight to local restaurants to purchase meals. Those meals go straight to first responders in the hospital because they're working hard. They're not getting the right food. They're not getting enough food. Donate to me personally because uh, Super Chats take 20% by YouTube. I will donate 100% of the uh, money plus $200 of my own money tomorrow night live on live stream. I'm hoping we can raise about $1,000, so let's try to do it, right? This is really, really important. Oh, it doesn't have PayPal or Venmo, so she's super chatty. Yeah. So okay, that works. Go. I see that. If you can't do that, no worry, Lisa. Oh, thank you. We'll still take 100% of that. You don't worry about it. Amir is here. She has a guacate. She's going to make a guacamole. Nice. Should I use this one for guacamole too or save yeah, it for yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. How's your uh, avocado, sweetie? Is she eating the avocado? A little bit. Here, let's mix in a little bit of salmon with that too, Rose. Wow, well, talk about a super fatty, yummy, huh? Yummy meal. We get omega-3 fatty acids, healthy saturated fats, right? Oh, wow. Yummy. So good for you, Rose. So good for you. Okay, pop that out. Oh, did I throw away the pit for that one? Uh, at least I saved one. I wanted to put a double pit in there. Yeah, everybody's saying just put a plastic over it. They are? No, I want to do an experiment. No, no, no. We're going we're gonna to see if abuela, if abuela method really works. Now let's mash it 
We had a bunch of answers, but I'm team chunky. So I'm just gonna go like that. I'm gonna also add right now a little shot of extra virgin olive oil. I know it sounds weird, but it's really good. There's salt in there. And I'm gonna keep it really basic. So that's all I wanna do. I'm gonna mix it up. And then we're gonna take the grande pit there, put it in, and we'll see. Is that gonna work? I say no. I don't see it. The water it. trick does work, I've done that. What, what's the water trick? What is it? Yeah. Oh, it's where you, you smooth it all out and then put water on top of it. And so air won't touch the guacamole because of the water. Are you serious? The guacamole is mostly fat, so it's not gonna really absorb the water I'm, either. You just I, pour the water out before you need to use it. I've never heard of that. Oh, that's neat. Same man's talking about it. Why not just use, it seems like a, a risky maneuver because if you have a, like a little divot, the water is going to go to the bottom. Stang, man, you guys are living repair, dangerous. Repair, repair your divot. Repair. <laughs> Stang, man, you guys are living crazy dangerous down there in Austin, right? Wow. I learned that here, yeah. Wow. The Camille lady at the Marianas one time told me that one. Really? All right, we got some more donations to Feed the Fight. $10 from Caroline. We got... Uh, Aubrey, $5. Thank you. I uh, don't know if I said Scott before. Scott sent $20 and we love, we love you guys also. Thank you for that, Scotty boy. I appreciate that. So that's on the side here. Uh, salmon's going to be a last minute kind of thing. A la menu, right? In the meantime, let's make our straw. Very easy dinner tonight. Guys, that dinner the other night, the lentil, what did we do? Oh, the soup, the red Thai soup with the dessert. That wiped me out because that same day we uh, filmed two videos and I was super, super wiped out. You want more salmon though? More salmon for my love. I think half of it is going down for chair. There you go, sweet. I don't think she loves the avocado so much. She's leaving it here. Oh, super chat. Fine pair. Oh, Shauna Barnett, $9.99. That's going to feed the fight. And so is $10 PayPal. Look at this, man. $10 PayPal from Lori a $20 uh, Venmo from Victoria. Thank you guys for that, I appreciate it. This is why we're using Desi's phone tonight because I wanted to see in real time my phone light up. What's the best way to wash a head of cabbage like this? Just run water under it? $15 from Charlotte Troyer Char. Thank you so much. I like to think- Water's all you need. Yeah, all you need is love, I thought, right? All right. Yeah, well that too. Oh, okay, I think. But didn't we, so did we discover, or did we talk last night about how you can't get COVID from eating produce that's been tainted? Is that true? That was mentioned yesterday. That was Vinton? That was mentioned yesterday on the live stream. That was yesterday as opposed to some other day this week. Yeah, so that, I guess that's, that's true, right? You can't get it from ingesting because in your stomach the acids kill it. Yeah. It sounds good to me. I just want to make... Some Double sure. Somebody said, yeah, somebody said that yesterday. Uh, I still have heard just rinse with cold water, you're good. Yeah. I mean, to be honest though, rinsing with cold water is going to get like dirt out of there, maybe a bug, but to get real bacteria, that's not going to do nothing, is it? So it's not going to get, well, you should have just felt pretty adamant about that these days. Yeah. True. Whoa, stop the presses. Look at this. Look at my phone right now. Kathy just sent $100 for Feed the Fight oh. on PayPal. Thank you. Uh, and then we got nice. Elvin here sent five dollars, and I'm not sure if I said Victoria two hundred, but wow! Thank you so much, Kathy. Well, um, well, while you're reading those, Smora five hundred five gave you twenty dollars on Super Chat. Nice, thank you. With once, a collection of produce emojis. I love it. That's going straight to feed the fight. Once again, keep the donations coming to my personal PayPal or Venmo. All that money is going to feed the fight, helping uh, restaurants and first responders. They're getting a lot of press. The lady was on the news last night and I fell in love with that uh, cause because a lot, of a lot of causes will have bureaucracy, bureaucracy and like 20% of like donations go to overhead. Forget about that, man. This is, there's no overhead. It's going to be used the same day to buy meals, to help uh, first responders and uh, restaurants, which I mean, to think that an industry like restaurants and service can go out of business overnight is pretty scary along with many other industries, right? What are the benefits of cabbage? So cabbage is a high fiber food. It's also uh, rich in uh, vitamin C, I believe. But the cool thing about 
foods that are rich in fibers, they feed your gut bacteria, so they're often called prebiotics. Very, very good stuff. So let's do a, a current state of the state of the nation, right? Are people feeling more positive now about Corona cresting or peaking in the next two, three weeks and then going down quickly? Or do, you, do we think it's going to be worse than expected, better than expected? Because I think the next two weeks will be really bad, like they're saying. But I think after that, things are going to get better a lot quicker than people are expecting. But what do you guys think, right? I'm not just being optimistic. I really feel like, yeah, it's going to punch. It's going to hurt really hard. But I think this quarantine, this stay at home we're doing, is really going to have a, a really nice positive I mean, effect. One option, one option of, I don't know. Yeah, or you don't know, right? But everyone has an opinion. Everyone has an opinion. Hands up for that. Uh, worse. Uh, hopefully, it, oh, before June. Yeah, I think by June, like the death rate is going to be really, really low. I see some messages that people are sending in here. Crystal just sent twenty dollars. Woohoo! Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Will you give a counting of the donations? Oh yeah, of course. Let me. Uh, I'll give a counting of the donations, and then tomorrow we'll tally them up because a lot of people watch the live streams after, and then we'll donate during the live stream tomorrow night uh, to the cause. But yeah, give me like another ten minutes, and we'll log into both accounts. We'll add things up. Art's the official accountant anyway, so that's his job, I think. Right, Art? <laughs> Give me the number, so I'll add them up. The accounting firm of ATA, Arthur T. Almasy. That's right. Do you want a little We're bit of... on vacation. <laughs> Rose is almost 10 months old. Mm, mm, mm. If you're just joining, share the live stream, you guys. We got 13, I got 1,200 people watching. Share it over to Instagram, Facebook, because we're raising money for a great cause. We're making healthy paleo tacos, um, salmon tacos, homemade guacamole, hey, uh... and slaw. Yes, sir. On your Venmo, uh, I think it was Alan Girl was saying, hey, what's your Venmo handle? She's trying to look it up by email address and was having a hard time with that. Um, let me see. I th uh, I'm not sure. Let me see my handle. Uh, my, oh, my handle's here. Show it right here. In case you can't look it up by email. Oh, here we go. So, so far on Venmo, we have $255. It's at Robert Dash Parish. Or, you know, I wonder if you could actually just scan my barcode here through the live stream. If maybe try scanning that, if that doesn't work. Kelly Pearson, 49.99 Super Chat, going straight to feed the fight. Thank you for that. So yeah, 250, oh, thank you. $255 so far on Venmo. This is fantastic. They're gonna be so, they don't even know we're doing this, you guys. In, tri in typical Bobby fashion, I did it last minute. Can I give you more uh, salmon, I love? Little salmon, mm -hmm. a little pescado. Pescado de salmon para mi amor. Ah, huh? mm, delicioso. What are you eating today, Art? What's on Art's oh, menu? Got some leftovers. Got some leftover chicken from yesterday. It's all good. A little beefarina? Pizzeria, no pizzeria tonight. I had pizzeria the other day, though. It's good. From where? Lou's. Ah, Lou Malnati is nice. Um, yeah, I... Contactless uh, pickup. Oh, nice. I got a radio. Half the name. Oh, really? Cool. Ah, uh, Sam. Oh, Taylor, you're so sweet. Thank you. Let's see here. Yeah, if you have any more questions for Art, hashtag ask Art. For Desi, hashtag ask Desi. Let's see here. Yeah, I feel the same way, Sherry. Next couple of weeks are going to be rough, but after that, I think it's going to get a lot better. Yeah, Sherry, I agree. If, we, if I eat deep dish, which I don't anymore, Malnati's is the way to go. So I washed the kale with hot, with cold water. Do you want me to do the, uh, the uh, thing with the vinegar again or no? no okay. The username. You gotta use your kale stripper. <laughs> What's the username keep... on PayPal? Uh, same thing. Oh, username on PayPal? You should just be able to use, we got $15 from Lily on. Uh... It's Robert Parrish. When you type in the email address, I think it pulls I'll up. I'll check. Parrish. We got $15 Parrish. from Lily on. Uh... Venmo, we got $20 from Chelsea. Thank you uh, for first responders. Thank you, everyone. Bobby, my husband, and I watch your videos all the time. We love you. Thank you. And I have a reminder to do an Instagram post. <laughs> that reminder is there very often, isn't it, Art? Oh, yeah. I, I was going to remind you about that today, actually. And Vanessa, $15 with a emoji of a grateful uh, avocado and kale, broccoli, and cucumber. 
and Rose is touching all of us with her omega-3 greasy fingers. <laughs> You're the sweetest, Rose. Is she done with the salmon or is she still eating salmon? Yes. So, obviously the news right now is 24-7, corona this, COVID that. A lot of people like to play up the fear and everything, but I mean, it really is historic times and you hear things you thought you never would hear. And it's really crazy, like I said earlier, how the service industry just basically went out of business overnight. And like restaurants are so thin margins as is. I mean, 80% of new restaurants go out of business. So when these Feed the Fight guys said, hey, we're taking 100% of what you donate, we're immediately buying meals and food from local restaurants, then we deliver that straight to the hospitals for the first responders. I thought it was so smart because they're not diddling and dallying and deciding what to do. They're helping two people. It's two birds with one stone. I really like that. But uh, I, to me, what really amazes me more than anything else is how quickly this affected so many people and so many things. I mean, literally two months ago, the economy had a record growth, record unemployment, record high stock market. And then 45 or 50 days later, you're going to have record high unemployment. You're going from one extreme to the next. The stock market has lost over 10,000 points or a third of its value. I mean, how does that happen? All because of a virus that is ravaging the world. It's crazy, right? And my gosh, brutal. Guacamole is doing well here. Oh, yeah. What's the, what's the current state of the guac? It looks pristine. Pristine guac. Speaking of pristine, wow, you guys are Venmoing up like crazy. Lissonette, twenty dollars. Thank you, Kyle. Five dollar holler. Straight in right now. Shrada, twenty bucks. You're doing a great job, and much love to Rose, my sweet. Uh, Aura, ten dollars. Thank you so much, you guys. All right, let's do an official tally. Arch, do you have the calculator out? I can. Okay. And Ellen just came in with $20 there. So here, let's do this together to make sure the accounting firm here is up to snuff. So I'm on my Venmo account. $380 on Venmo so far, Arthur. Okay. Then I'm going to log into my PayPal account. And let's see here. Oh, wow. I'm going to need you to add up, add up these numbers for me, Art. Ready? Well, it's still early to add numbers up. Let's do them tomorrow. No, the no, just, just to get it real, in, in real time. So we'll start with Kristen. So $10 plus 795 plus 5 plus $19 and 12 cents plus 80, I'm sorry, plus 48.25 plus 23.97 plus 20 plus 100 plus 96.80 plus $9.41 plus $14.26, plus $9.41, plus $25, plus $10, plus $20. Guys, when you send me a PayPal, please make sure you send it as a friend, not a payment. Otherwise, PayPal takes their like 2.5% fee. I got like $7.99, $17. Uh, cents might be up a little if okay. I heard All right. wrong. There we go. I like it. We got $800 so far. We're well on our way to a thousand, maybe more, right? Woohoo! Awesome, guys. Love to hear that. Love to hear. That. All right, cabbage and kale. Oh, a little more salmon, my sweet. A little more salmon. Hmm? Would you like a glass of a uh, Pinot Grigio to go with this uh, very fatty salmon to cut through the acidity? Oh, that's a tentative number. It's okay. It's so not. I'm gonna show something way different here, and I'm. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm questioning my keyboard. I wasn't looking at the screen. I was looking at the keys. Sorry, these aren't official numbers yet. Uh, a little bit of green onion in our slaw and a little bit of carrots. Okay, what are we doing over there? Warming dessert? Oh, Rose, you're getting dessert? What are you warming up there, Mommy? Well, yeah, I had the pot with the hot water and you uh, threw it away. It out, yeah. But what are you warming up for, Rose? Blueberries. Blueberries with coconut oil, the leftovers? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so I'm just finishing the uh, the slaw. What else can I put in here? Should I put some pepitas or Mexican pumpkin seeds? Should I put in some, a uh, little bit of raisins for sweetness? What do you all recommend, huh? Good, we'll take this carrot here. It's nice and colorful, which I really like. Would you like the uh, carrot peeled, Desi? Yes, please. Only the best for you. Excuse me, Rosa. Pumpkin seeds, pine nuts, 
pecan, Ooh, I have, walnuts. I, I have pine nuts is pine, classy. Pepito. By the way, Cindy and Wayne from Texas sent this amazing Raisins. sketch of a rose in the mail today. Thank you for that, you guys. All right, let's do that. Thank so we got some, you don't like pine nuts, do you, Ben? No, raisins. Right. Raisins, we got organic. Thrive Market raisins there. And we got some raw pumpkin seeds known as pepitas. I'm gonna chop these or put them in whole? Whole, so that'll add some nice crunch. I love these. I'm very high in zinc, by the way. Which are very good at firing off colds. And then you always wanna get organic raisins because what are raisins? They're dried grapes, which are heavily sprayed with chemicals. So a little bit of raisins for you. Mix that with your nuts. It's like a homemade trail mix here. Mmm, delicious. Team Crunch, that's right, Maggie. Caitlin just sent $10, Rita just sent $5, and Marjorie just sent $5. This is amazing, you guys, I love it. Yeah, put some shredded carrots, I'm gonna do that right now. This is great, I should just be like a robot, speaking of Max Hedrum, you should just input things for me to put in there, and I'll be like a robot. Currently great shredding, one organic carrot, bless you, Rose Honey, you have expelled germs from your nose. And then I'll just take my box grater. Hello, my love. Are you ready for your dessert course? Take the old box grater, put it directly in here. See, that's a colorful salad, right? And then I'll just mix in, how well do you know me? What is my lazy man's go-to dressing, you guys? I know Taylor's gonna know. I know Char should know, but what's my lazy man's go-to dressing? And I swear by it, right? Why bother making a fancy dressing when the lazy man's dressing is gonna do it for you? Francis needs acidic condiments like pickled carrots or pickles or olives, etc. Interesting. Well, what about a very acidic dressing? How about that? So, Luma says avocado oil mayonnaise. Good. Um, yeah, avo mayonnaise, avo mayonnaise. Good, good, good. Primal Kitchen Ranch. That's even more lazy, correct? Crimson got it, avocado, mayo, and lime juice. Yep, avo, mayo, lime juice. A little shot of olive oil, says uh, Stang Man, Chris. Yeah, you got it. Uh, tahini mayo is nice, too. I haven't done that in a while, um, Taylor. Yeah, lemon juice or lime juice? Insane sauce. Insane sauce, that's right. Hashtag feed the camera woman. Hash how about hashtag feed sweet rose honey parish? Look at this, you got some food on your eye. There you go. Little blueberry? Little blueberry? Hmm, is that yummy? Organic blueberries, of course, you gotta get organic berries. Uh, just cooked in a pan with a little shot of uh, virgin coconut oil. Scrum diddly umptious, right? Wrench with antioxidants and all that yummy stuff that- Shahini's recommending some shahini tahini. Ah, you know what? Maybe I'll mix in a little bit for a little bit of a uh, creamy, we haven't done that in a while, and I have a little bit of shahini brand tahini. Oh, by the way, Shaheen, speaking of, so I got an email the other day, Time Out Abu Dhabi ranked their top five food influencers to watch during the quarantine, and I was number one. I was like, whoa, how crazy is that? Someone sent that to me. I thought that was pretty cool. cool. Yeah, it was like me, my friend Laura, Vitali, and uh, a couple other folks. I think Shaheen may have something to do with it. Yeah, maybe Shaheen put in a good word. <laughs> there you go, sweet pea. Ow. Yummy. Yummy in your tummy. Okay, let's put that over there. Now, next step would be visiting Abu Dhabi and uh, Dubai, but I'm, wait I'm still waiting for that invitation from the royal family, and they can fly all of us over there on the, on the royal jet. How does that sound, Rose, huh? That's what daddy wants. Huh? Oh, Shaheen used to work for a company that owns Time Out magazine, so okay. Oh, funny. There's an inside job is what you're saying. Yeah, oh yeah, that works. <laughs> All right, $25 on Venmo from Deborah. $10, oh, we got from Caitlin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Look at this one, if you, if you stop feeding her, she makes, she stomps and make noise. Real quick, Rose, let me do this. Season, a little bit of salt and pepper, very important. Rose, look at mommy, she's got a, by the way, if you haven't said hello to Desi, here she is. 
Hi guys. Desi and Mini Desi right here. <laughs> hey, are those blueberries tasty? Are those blueberries tasty? Daddy made them just for you, huh? And I believe her uh, apron here was a gift from a fan, right, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, a fan sent that. People love Rose, right? A sketch right there was sent in the mail today for all the way from Texas. You guys are so cool, sweet. Girl. Thank you. Yeah, it was really, really Blue cool. Shelly, $20, you are making my Whoa. day better. I'm looking for ways to help. That's going straight to Feed the Fight. If you can't send via, via PayPal or Venmo, just go ahead and leave a super chat and uh, I'll just make up the difference of the 20% that YouTube keeps of every super chat. Joe says hello to Mini Desi. Ask Desi, boil or steam vegetables for babies? Boiled in bone broth. Boiled in bone broth. I like that. Okay. How come not steaming? Yeah, you can also steam, uh, but uh, if you have the option, boil them in bone broth too. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, Rose does. Oh, nice. I'd love to hear that, Alan girl. Uh, does Art eat healthy and make the same choices as we do? No, I do not. <laughs> I just wrote back to Carolyn. I don't know if you're going to read that one out loud. Yeah. He just had a deep dish pizza. Didn't you hear what he no said? Particular, no particular diet here. Here's the difference. Art has deep dish pizza from Malnati's, and Desi and I last Saturday made a um, Capello's Paleo Almond Crust Pizza with vegan oh, cheese and it. fresh vegetables and almond milk ricotta. So a little different, but we still love our pizza, right? Uh, Rose is finished with dinner. Hey, look at you. Dinner than dessert, huh, sweet pea? Dinner than dessert. Ah, <laughs> yeah, my love. Mm-hmm, so sweet. What book do you recommend for baby food ideas? Yep, uh, get the Super Nutrition for Babies. It's an amazing book on Amazon. Super Nutrition for Babies. Thank you. Shaheen says I'm lo I look exhausted. <laughs> no, I'm sleeping like eight hours every night. I feel good. Oh, let's get up. A mirror in the house. Yeah, she makes yeah, me smile too. Here the whole time. Well, the first time I saw her comment. No, I've been reading her comments. Okay, let's get back to cooking here. All right. Yeah, my love. Why don't you pick her up, Evan? Huh? Pick her up and put her down to the crawl now? Yeah. Okay. I gotta go put her over yonder so she can crawl around. Okay, Rose, I'll be back. Yeah, I got all your toys right there. There you go, sweetie. Okay, if you're just joining, welcome. It is quarantine. Do I look that tired? Let me see. I think I look pretty good. It's because my hair is completely uncoiffed. That's why. But hey, I did, uh, what are you doing, a photo there? Uh, do you wanna go do, do something real quick with her right here? I'll take that. Um, keep in mind, I did shower today and I also worked out and I brushed my teeth. But when I have my hair like all crazy like this, I look kind of disheveled, but look, I think I look pretty good. I nicked myself in the shower today doing something, but I shaved yesterday. I mean, come on now, right? Yeah, thank you, Taylor, I appreciate that. Your eyes look tired. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's see. Uh, Art, what toppings do you like from Lou Malnati's? Uh, I just go simple. I go uh, sausage typically, uh -huh. maybe pepperoni, maybe some mushrooms on there, but not, not too much. All right, so the lazy man's dressing, you guys, is going to be avocado oil mayonnaise. Get the sugar-free one from Costco, the big Sir Kensington. It's going to be lime juice a shot of really good extra virgin olive oil, and salt and pepper. And you know what I'm gonna do just to mix it up? Like I said, we're gonna get that tahini and mix it in there. So tahini, shahini brand tahini is basically the Middle Eastern version of peanut butter. It's just sesame seeds ground into a paste. It's nutty, it's earthy, it's bitter, and it's so darn good, right? Any hummus, hummus, is gonna have some tahini in there and it really adds a depth of flavor. I love it. And by adding a little bit to my salad dressing, it really makes a big difference, right? So, Desi's back in action. That's the, uh, the low profile view is over. All right. Now, because I'm using tahini, babe, shahini brand tahini, should I actually mix it separately in a bowl or can I still hodgepodge it? Desi doesn't want the tahini. Wow, no, we're just gonna do a drop of it, babe. So we're gonna do a drop. So here's what I do. It's a total hodgepodge eyeball of a dressing. So I'll probably start with, I don't know, two and a half, three tablespoons 
of mayonnaise. So what makes this mayonnaise so good? There's no sugar and it's made with best in class avocado oil mayonnaise. Here's my trivia. What would make this mayonnaise even better? What ingredient could they replace or improve upon? What do you guys think? You guys tell me. Rip MLB, yeah. Art and I were talking about that. Do you guys think if and when the baseball season is going to start? How is that going to work? No idea. It's just, oh, a shortened season from what I heard. Oh, it's got to be a shortened season, right? Yeah. You Great get... students here you have them. Yeah, I see it. Pasture raised, <laughs> eggs, pasture. No, so there really is no cold pressed avocado oil. It's all pretty much expeller pressed. Eggs, yeah, no one, no one does it with a pasture raised egg. Now, Primal Kitchen does use an organic egg. These guys don't. That would be better, right? So, yeah, sports, that's gonna be interesting. I think there is a possibility it might start in June, July, but no one's gonna go to the games, and then maybe for the playoffs, they'll let people in, because TV is still huge revenue, right? But who's gonna wanna go, even when they say it's all clear, do you wanna go to a game or a concert with 20,000 people? Heck no, I'm not going there, right? But I'll watch on TV. So my thinking, I don't know about you, Art, probably around June, July, they'll start the season to empty stadiums. And then maybe later in the summer, fall, they'll say, okay, it's safe to come. I don't know. What do you think? There's a theory, but with the uh, luck of all of the spectators, it'll coincide with like allergy season. You know, the question is allergy. Oh my run? God. Yeah, I, I'm not doing it, right? Tom Dobbin will go. I knew Joseph was going to say, when I put it on, I'm like, Joseph, it's going to haunt him. <laughs> Tom Dalton's going to go? I'm not going. Finley, you, you see him double? <laughs> yeah. Plus, a concert? Do you think I want to be packed in with 20,000 people screaming for a concert? No way, dude. I'm not going to any of that stuff. I didn't like going to concerts anyway before. I'm too old for that, right? But now, no way. At least at a sporting event, there's a little separation. There's a seat. At a concert, people are sweating on you and like, ah, no way, dude. I think that kind of stuff is gonna be altered for a long time. And it's too bad because musicians make a lot of their money on touring, not on album sales. So I don't know what they're gonna do, but I do know, look at this, this is beautiful. So cabbage, kale, carrots, raisins, raisins. pepitas, green onions. A beautiful slaw, right? Beautiful, and we mix it up, some beautiful thing. And then it probably needs a little more mayonnaise. And then we'll check it for seasoning. It might be like, hey, it needs some more acid. I can always add more. Like I said, you can't take it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Listen, Suzanne, let them mean the stand uh, stands in a limited number, but all must wear masks and get temps taken to get in. What? Yeah, you laugh now, but hey. They should start taking temp everywhere. Everywhere. Don't you think travel is altered forever? I think everyone going on a flight, especially international, should have temperatures. And if you have a temperature, you're not going anywhere, man. I'm sorry. I don't know. I always worried about that kind of stuff, you know? You should always take the temperature. You shouldn't have a sick person go on board. No, no because you're going to infect a lot of people. Mmm. Creamy, yes, but more acid. I think we're going to learn a lot of very valuable lessons from this. That's that correct. Not, not everybody who's carrying it has a temperature, but if, you're, if you have right. a temperature, then you are... There's nothing you can do about that. Very contagious. But people who are obviously sick... I mean, you think about all the people who left the city of Wuhan where it started. Millions of people got out and about. <laughs> right there, all of a sudden. Everyone. Bobby, what if on the baseball question, what if they end up doing like a March Madness thing to figure out baseball? Uh, oh, I... Just have a, a tournament... I think that'd be, why not? The whole season's ruined anyway. Why not just mix it up, make it really different, right? It's a beautiful. Tom Dalton, the fall will bring a second round of this. Uh, okay, in the meantime, we've got a bunch. Hopefully we'll bunch. have a cure by then. We got a bunch of, uh, of Venmo's here. Uh, I'm not sure if I talked about this one. Kimberly, Deborah, Caitlin. We got a bunch of new ones. Thank you. Keep them coming, you guys. PayPal or Venmo, my email address here. Once again, we got to keep reinforcing this. Everything, 100% is going to feed the fight. They take the money, they buy uh, meals at local restaurants to support the restaurants and deliver those straight to first responders. Amazing, amazing is that charity. nationwide? It, um, it's concentrated right now in the DC area, but they're expanding. And there's no bureaucracy. All the money goes straight to work the next day. Right? No one's keeping money. No one's getting a salary, all that stupid stuff, right? 
Yes, no. we love cucumbers in salads, but this is not a salad. This is a slaw. Does it taste? This is lovely. Mmm. Este ensalada es muy crujiente y con muchos colores, mm. muy diferente y suave y limón mm -hmm. y uh, nuces. Todo está bien, ¿sí? Muy crujiente. Muy crujiente. Crunch if, if you're not on team crujiente, you're something. <laughs> I don't know how to say that in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Keep rocking and rolling here. Let's clean up roses. Now, the last thing we have to do is cook these salmon and uh, toasty tortillas de almendra. Right? Mm -hmm. Este tortillas e pelio. Porque uh, no hay maíz, no hay corn en este to tortillas. Este e quito porque uh, hace con almendra y uh, también hace con almendra, pero un poquito de tapioca Top tapioca farina y tapioca hay mucho carbs. Still, esto es pelio muy delicioso. Una company de Texas se llama uh, Siete. Siete, una familia muy grande y tiene muchos dineros. Y ahora, uh, qué, qué, qué rico. Y este company se llama Almond con Love. Almendra, amor. Con amor. Con amor. Y este uh, es Quito. Solamente dos o tres net carbs porque ñama tapioca farina. That, that was in Bulgarian. <laughs> oh, that's right. Ñama means yeah. comparison. <laughs> I'm doing Spanish <laughs> Bulgarian. Just right there. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Ziomara. <laughs> okay. Are we going to cook our salmon? See, look how the, the spice rub has gone into the salmon. I'll do a little uh, Spanish for you about the salmon. So come back here. Yo quiero cocinar este pescado en mi favorito grasa se llama gui. Gui orgánico de uh, gras. ¿Cómo se llama gras? De uh, pasto. Pasto. Oh, pasto. Da. Sí. <laughs> ¿Dónde aprendiste español? Uh, solamente yo tomar uh, media año en la escuela. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, ya... Uh, you know, it's stuck. It's stuck. I don't know why. Right? <laughs> so, este salmon, uh, hay mucho grasa. Y recuerdo, grasa es sabor. Grasa es sabor. Y muy, muy difícil de overcook este salmon porque tengo mucho, mucho grasa. <laughs> Anita wants to speak more Bulgarian. <laughs> <laughs> Bulgarian, okay. Bulgarian, here we go. Uh, Siga. Uh, as uh, as gotvine ripka uh, tozi ripka uh, se uh, kazva salmon siomga siomga i uh, i uh, uh, <laughs> now I'm getting confused good, uh, wow. as uh, as slagam uh, tozi pan what's pan tigan tigan i uh, povina povina okay. toplichka mm -hmm. i Aslagum salmon <laughs> and tigan. Medium heat. Medium. His Bulgarian is outstanding again. Lago daria. Bulgarian. Off Flave City. Bulgarian is a very difficult language. In Nogutruno. No desi daimi urotsi i as practicuvam, as practicugam, i now as moga da um, go, uh, as moga da govori, govori, bogorski. Anita gave us $20 just for this Bulgarian. Wow, Anita! Lagadaria <laughs> nogu prayatel. Okay, back to business. Salmon's only gonna take a few minutes to cook because it's cut very thin. They're going to sponsor the live stream next week. They're a great Norwegian farm raised salmon company, right? All right. So, <laughs> Alan, go. money to switch back to English. Okay. <laughs> we can keep going, you guys. It reminds me, what SNL was that? Where it's like, for the love Chris of Farley. God. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Farley. I was thinking Chris Farley, for the love of God. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, I forgot to put a little shtickle of uh, tahini in my, just a little bit. That's it. 
It's going to add a nice nuttiness, right? And this is a very hearty dressing. You can dress a little bit ahead of time. Take it over to like a, a picnic when we do that in the summertime, if that ever is possible again, right? You're muy, muy inteligente. Oh, muchas gracias. <laughs> it's fun. People love on uh, Instagram stories when I do that. I get a crack up, right? Anita loves us and watches us every day. Oh, Anita, that's the Bulgarian? Yeah. Right. Kde jive Anita v Bulgaria ili America? Rose is just crawling around. Desi tahin or papitas have to be organic asking for a friend? No, they don't have to be organic. You don't worry about it. Anita, one ninety nine. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, but where does she live, Anita? I don't know. She will answer. Uh, yeah, I know. Rose will be back soon. You don't worry about it. So how do you know when, when salmon... Here, Rose is right here. See? <laughs> <laughs> Here's Rose. <laughs> Just put a bunch of blueberries all over her face. How do you know when salmon's ready to flip? It almost has an internal gauge. See when it turns white and opaque around the edges here? That's usually a sign that it's ready. And see how those spices there? Just seared into the crust, lovely, right? I'm gonna go down with the splatter guard immediately. I'm trying to make minimal. <laughs> Look at art. There's art, Conan O'Brien. Right next to a picture. What? <laughs> Anita lives in LA. Oh, nice. Oh, that's Anital. No? Mm, uh, is, is it Anital on Instagram? Is that my friend Anital on Instagram? It looks like it might be. I, I, I don't know. I don't think so, but. Oh, let's see. No, no one puts Rose in the corner. No one. <laughs> I know. Art's getting yummy food at home, though. He can cook very well. You don't worry about that. Do you have a good chia seed pudding? Absolutely. Do Flav City chia pudding? I have a mango chia seed pudding and a, uh, and a chocolate and raspberry chia seed pudding. The spice rub. Yeah. Oh, it's her. Yes. Da. Oh, Anital uh, with her son, who's like a really big, strong, young guy. I love to hear that. We'll, we'll meet you next time we come to L.A. if that ever happens again. Da. Spice rub is... Ancho chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, and coriander. Equal parts of the first three, half that amount of coriander. Um, I don't do intermittent fasting, but I think it's good. Chris says the fish is done. I think the fish has 30 more seconds, Christopher, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. It actually, I think it is done. Chris was right. And it's going to keep cooking. Art, can you explain why this keeps cooking after I take it out of the pan? Thing called carryover cooking. The heat's still making its way to the center of the salmon, so you don't want to pull it out when it's at temperature because then you're going to go over it. Exactly. Food keeps cooking, y'all, when you take it out of the pan or take it out of the uh, oven, especially steaks and big steaks like roasts. So I'm going to keep that warm. And what am I going to do before I cover that in tin foil? How well do y'all know me? What am I going to do while it's resting? Tell me. First one that gets it, I'm going to be very impressed with. Oh, someone else says my eyes look tired. I oh, evaze me. Someone just mentioned. Oh, salt. I watched Thomas Lara's video on like, I'm um, oh. human. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I showed you yesterday, babe. So, no, not salt. Ghee, Sarah got it. Yeah. Ghee. No, it's got enough salt. Yeah, the, the Thomas Delara. Hey, listen, maybe I am tired. We've been doing live streams every mm -hmm. night. Bobby sleeps way better than Thomas. Yeah, I sleep. Judging from his video. I do sleep a lot. But anyway, listen, these videos are not easy. I have to set up the lights. I have to prep everything ahead of time. They're at 4 o'clock, so really my day is like really kind of cut in with these. But I love them. But listen, any content we make, whether it's an Instagram story, a video, a live stream, it's a lot of work. But I don't care. This is my job. This is my passion. I love it. Speaking of submarine Whoa. chef. We all live in a submarine chef. Thank you for all you do. Keeping your family safe through these troubled times. We made the brownies and the almond milk. It was very yummy. Love to hear that. My glasses, I only wear the glasses uh, usually on the weekends or in the mornings when you catch me. Melon. Melon, me melon queen. Basically, melon I Melon queen. Melanin. Thank you. What is melanin? Basically, I wouldn't mind doing the whole show with the camera focused on Rose's sweet face. If we had to listen to your voice, I think it'd be a fair trade. Yeah. Everyone always says now, like... We came for Bobby, we're staying for Rose. And that's 100% fine with me, I understand that. A little bit of ghee, right? That'll keep the fish nice and moist. It doesn't need it, but it'll keep it nice and moist. Now I have to toast the tortillas in my colmal. 
I'll use this comal. I do have to wipe out the grasa because there's a lot of fat in there now. Any recommendations for kids cereal? It's really tough. The only I mean, cereal- how old is the kid? Yeah, I mean, listen, the best cereal on the market is Ezekiel Sprouted. Um, sprouted organic cereal. But ow, if you're gonna have grains, it really has to be whole grains and sprouted's even better like that. Just be careful with the other ones. I mean, we're talking usually sugar, corn, a bunch of garbage like that. Also, there are really good cereals out there that are just made of nuts. I like granola. Maybe. Yeah. You can use Purely Elizabeth. I would, you know what I would do? I'd say forget about the grain cereal. I know it's a little pricey, but I would buy a bag of this and just put some almond milk or some grass-fed milk over it with some whatever you want, fixins. That stuff is amazing. Didn't you have it this morning for breakfast, Ben? Uh, yeah, I had that. I had that with some uh, warm uh, almond. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that's that. I'm talking about that in my pantry haul videos coming out. The next few days, we have a we have a couple of videos for a quarantine pantry haul. So these are the low carb keto tortillas. Which one do you want, babe? These or the uh, siete? <laughs> You're gonna use your hands to flip the tortillas like the Greek, uh, Mexican abuela. Oh yeah! Or... If it's good enough for abuela, it's good enough for me. Are you kidding mm -hmm. me? I'm not using tongs. No way. <laughs> Let's right. see. Tong to tong tong tong. Tong to tong tong tong. That's right. I got Samantha. Don't question me. Have you heard of magic cereal? Magic Spoon. Ah, uh, yeah, it's got natural flavors, to be honest. It's a keto cereal, but nah, not for me. Not for the old bulb. Bobby approved? No, unfortunately not. Right, see, done. Got a little bit of color on there. Do we have any new Venmos or anything? No, we slowed down, okay. Keep them coming, you guys. Let's get the Venmos for the first responders and for the restaurants. Keep it one more time, show the email. Send it to my personal PayPal or Venmo. We're going to send the total sum tomorrow live. Carlos is asking, my family doesn't need anything healthy. How can I get them started on a healthy lifestyle? Because you, you make recipes that are like from our cookbook that are paleo or keto, but they still have a lot of flavor, right? This is healthy. Everything we're making here is 100% paleo. But you're not feel like you're missing out on anything. That's toasted really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so the key is cooking homemade food, but with best in class ingredients. So if you're gonna use beef, use grass fed beef. If you're gonna have tortillas, get grain free, corn free tortillas. Um, right, if you're gonna use fat to cook, use ghee, avocado oil, or coconut oil. That's, that's how you start. Should we do two tortillas of uh, siete and two of uh, the keto ones? And these are really cool because it almost has a texture of like fresh masa tortillas. Like abuela, abuela hace este tortilla de almendra. Mm, very good. Look like real uh, yeah. masa tortillas. Abuela style, I like to say. Favorite brand of almond butter? I, to be honest, the best deal is the Costco one. And you don't have to get organic almond butter. But just make sure no, what... You do. A, a favorite brand? You have to get organic because mm -mm. almonds Not are heavily... The, the, the area around the, the almond area tree around. is sprayed. You don't have to worry about it. It's not that important for uh, the actual nut. Um, and they're more expensive. It's not yeah. necessary. It's not. It's better for the environment, but uh, you don't have to do it. Just make sure there's no... So here, you want the recommendation? You eat nut butters. Avoid nut butters with palm oil and sugar. You eat um, oats. Eat organic oats. You eat sugar, try coconut sugar or monk fruit sweetener. Avoid stuff that has palm oil, canola oil, maltodextrin, natural flavors, yeast extract. Then that's, that's how you eat healthy. It's not about eliminating anything. I think you guys know from my content, it's not about eliminating, it's about choosing the best in class. Yeah, nutso is great. And nutso is amazing stuff. Even the chocolate stuff is amazing. And that's why, you know, I'm so excited for the next cookbook, which I still am not ready to talk about yet, but it's really gonna be for everyone because the recipes in there are gonna be best in class recipes with really good ingredients, minimal ingredients, minimal effort, and so easy, literally anyone can cook them. Right, where do you get those uh, almond uh, tortillas from? Um, I get them from Whole Foods, to no, be honest. The almond ones. Oh, these, um, you know, the company sent it to me. I'm not sure yet. It might just be on Online, their website. Probably. Yeah, I think it's only, I bet they're expensive because they used to make this keto almond pasta and they sent it to me and it was horrible. 
I literally, I, I, it was one of the worst things I've ever tried. And they took it off the market and they just came out with these uh, tortillas and they're amazing. So they did a great job. It's a small family company. I gave them honest feedback. Um, but Siete, Chris, it's only a matter of time. They're going to get bought by like General Mills or someone for like a $200 million. These guys, their packaging is so beautiful. They're, they're awesome, right? Travel Chick, four ninety nine. dollars Really? Desi, read them off, please. I just saw Travel Chick for four ninety nine. Okay, I'll go back to the... And, oh, and then Dave. Uh, Super Dave Osborne? Oh. Canadian dog. Ooh. Best source. Dave, best sources to be woke, woke, such as EWG. Yeah, EWG is great. The Food Babe is great. Uh, Flav City is great. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, to be woke, I just continually walk around the grocery store and I just read uh, products. If I don't know something, I want to learn about it. I'll look up everything I need to know about that uh, that product or that ingredient. So now I equate it to Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. Before he became Neo, right? He didn't understand anything. Like he jumped off that building, he fell, and like you don't know anything. But once you start to understand labels and products and, and grocery store aisles, you see everything. You're like Neo dodging the bullets like this, right? It's night and day. Taking the blue pill or the red pill, Art? Which one was it? The red pill, right? Take the red pill. That's the red good one, right? The one that gives you the crazy. That's crazy right. Movie. That's right. Okay. Tortillas are toasted. Toasted and wrapped in a damp paper towel. You guys. Okay. Dios mios. Dios mios. It's this, been an hour, you This guys. worked. Holy spololis. Are you kidding me? Wow. I think we should celebrate the fact with Abuela's well, we stash. We should have done like a test where we put half without the pit and half with the pit. Now, I don't even know. What if it was like that? No, it's got to be. Pit? No, it's got to be the pit. Mm, next time we'll do the it's experiment gotta proper. It's got to be Mr. Pit. We should celebrate with some tequila or something. Wow, that's crazy. That's cool, right? All right, come on. Yeah, I guess it would have been nice to do a side by side. It's not scientific. Mandy on Venmo, ten dollars. We love you, Dusty Rose and Art. Keep up the good work. Going to feed the fight. Mm, I like. I love to read cookbooks. Looking forward to getting yours. So I will say that it looks like the new cookbook will come out December first, just in time for Christmas. I think this Christmas season is going to be one of the biggest ones ever because everyone's going to be so excited to spend money and celebrate after this horrible period we're having now. But um, yeah, the recipes are going to be amazing. When I tell you about them, you're going to be like, holy cow. And, and trust me, no one's done this yet, right? There's been something similar out there, but no one's done the kind of concept we're going to do. It's going to be Literally a game changer. And that's why I wanted to do this. The onions and the lime is still here. We haven't added them to the guac. So yeah, so what I'm questioning, maybe it was the lime. No, there's zero lime in there. But now these are pickled. So we'll take red onions and I'll take a little bit of juice and then I'll mix it up, right? And then check it for season. If you want it to be a little more acidic, add um, more of the pickling juice, not lime juice. Maybe it needs more salt. I don't know. Let's see. Before Christmas, people will go wild. <laughs> they will. They're going to, uh, this Christmas season, trust me, people are going to buy more stuff than ever. Buy some Amazon stock when <laughs> Q4 starts because people are going to order. Unless things get like worse than anyone expected and the world ends. I'm telling you, people this holiday season are going to go overboard. It's going to be amazing. And with our book launch. You just put some Dave Matthews in my head by saying that. Which, which line? When the world ends. Oh, when the world <laughs> Not a huge fan of that song. Collect your things. You're coming with me. Where's the Dave Matthews fam when you need them? All right, let's plate yeah, some. Mercy. Let's plate some tacos here, you guys. What's up? Show this one more time. All right, Desi wants to remind one more time. This is your last chance to donate anything you can. We're not doing super chats because uh, YouTube takes twenty percent. Feed the fight is taking all the money raised by everyone buying local meals at local restaurants to help keep them in business, taking that food, delivering them straight to first responders who don't have time to eat, cook meals, or order food right now. Send it to me personally, and I will tomorrow, live on the stream, send the total amount plus $200 for me and Desi personally to them on the live stream. I'm pretty sure we've hit 1,000, but let's see if we can do a little more. Please, let's get a little more PayPal and Venmo coming in. We're avoiding uh, super chats. 
because uh, they keep 20% of them, right? And I understand that, like they enable that. Normally I don't mind that, but for a charity like that, we don't want that. Okay, let's build a tortilla taco here. I'll use this guy. That's right, that's what we're gonna do right now. So we'll take, here's how I build tacos, you guys. I always put a little bit of ensalata de repollo in the bottom of the taco for crunch, but also so it doesn't sog the bottom of the tortilla, right? Then, here's the beautiful part. This is why we're using very high quality farm-raised salmon. You wanna see something sexy? Muy sexar. <laughs> Check this out. So, we'll take the skin off because you don't want it for this recipe and it's not crispy. Look at this, this flakes like nobody's business. Look at that, oh yeah, babe. All right? It's almost impossible to overcook it when you cook it the way I did and you use fatty farm-raised salmon. And by the way, from a health aspect, this salmon from this company that I've been working with has 20% more omega-3 fatty acids. That's available on Amazon Fresh. I'll have a link for you next week. They deliver it fresh. It's never been frozen all the way from Norway. They air ship it all the way here. Rose scratches her uh, face near the nose, that's why. Yeah, she always scratches she, it. She She's an animal. And no matter how much I cut her, how often I cut her nails, she still gets herself. Or she starts rubbing her eyes. All right, you'll be saddened to know that Whole Foods was out of the red finger pepper, so I, I don't have any red finger peppers right now. Oh, come on, Whole Foods. I know. Come on, during a crisis, you can't carry Bobby's favorite red finger peppers? Come on, guys. Exactly. That's terrible, right? And then we'll take a are, little... Are you doing anything with these? Oh. With what? Not the red onions. Okay. A little bit of red onions on top. Yeah. Then we'll take some salad on the side here. All right. Let's just feed this. <laughs> there it is, you guys. Most people don't think about using salmon, but it's a fatty, delicious taco or fish that makes a killer taco. Before Desi comes in, back up for a second, babe. We got a last minute surge here. Parisa, $10. Uh, we're watching with her son Landon, who's eight. Love when kids watch. And Mandy sent, oh, Mandy sent $10. Thank you so much. All right, it is time for that segment and that time of the night where we hashtag feed Desi Slava. Come on in here, babe. Why are you calling me that, babe? <laughs> <laughs> why, am I, why are you calling me by my name? It, yeah, you never call me. You just call me on live streams like that. Aww. Okay. Oh, say, my grandma used to call me by my full name. Say hi to Desi, y'all, if you haven't done so yet. Hi, guys. Here she is, working hard, holding the iPhone here for the last... Which tortilla is this, babe? Uh, this is the Siete almond Siete, flour. Okay. Desi just reminded me of Ruth Lewis and Die Hard by that line she said. Really? It's screamed up. <laughs> Doesn't take much to remind art of a movie, show, or a song. Mm. The sabor? Ah, the sabor. He's off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard, I, I heard that before. <laughs> that was funny. That was a good Bobby the imitation. Sabor. Yeah, the sabor show me that. is off the charts. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There's so many flavors and textures going on here. I mean, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I can taste the the creamy fatty um, yeah jackie that's a good salmon one. the crunchy slightly acidic slaw and the creamy avocado desi reminds mm. me of amanda fry tag ha that's funny amanda fry tag that's good yeah i'm glad it's not alex gorman <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah mm? well said art mm. so good man Tortilla. I forgot salsa. The almond tortilla. It's soft, but you need to toast it like Bobby did. Yeah, and the come Add a little bit, of, you know, flavor to it. How do you feel about the fact that I forgot to add salsa to that? The Frontera salsa. Eh, so many things going on here. Babe. Yeah. I'll warm it up. I don't up, think though. he needs it, but um, it's perfect. Yeah. I love that double roasted uh, tomato salsa from. Mm. Uh, Frontera, so good. Provecho, Desi. Mm, delicious. Right? Mm -hmm. Delicioso, Roberto. <laughs> yeah, the, the tortilla holds up really well. Really well. 
Um, mm. If you get the other Very one, cool. actually the cashew one holds up even better. I would not get the cassava one or the chia one. It does not hold up very well. Oh, Amira, Amira's going to do the dishes if we save our taco. Deal, Amira. Mm. Uh, let's see. I don't think salmon has a fishy flavor. Mm. No. Also, it depends on what kind of salmon you're cooking. And Desi crushing. Try the uh, slaw by itself now for a little crunch. Let me show you guys real quick. I'm just going to put this down. So I always, I never make salsa at home. I buy, shout out to uh, Chicago Rick Bayless, this one, Frontera Double Roasted Tomato Salsa. I think I'll warm some up right now. Ingredients are Bobby approved. Look at that. No filler, all thriller. Really good stuff. And the double roasting. Art and I finally figured out how it was double roasted. Right, Art? That's right. So they roast the... Uh, Tomatoes and they roast the uh, onions, so it's a double roast, right? Well, I thought it was they roast the peppers and stuff, chop it up, and then roast the chopped up stuff. Uh, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about then. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Fire. I, I think thought it was some other brand that explained what they meant by double roasted. Yeah, I thought the other brand meant like we roast tomatoes and onions. So, because look, fire roasted tomatoes and fire roasted jalapenos and onions. So, yeah, that... I just thought all that stuff was fire roasted and then grind it up and then roast that puree. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Another question for Rick Bayless when I see him. <laughs> Why stop there and do it triple? <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Desi's not <laughs> sharing with Bobby. <laughs> Desi's going out of town, they're saying. Mm. So good, babe. So, so good. All right, good. You want me to make you a taco? Uh, I'll save it for dinner, actually. I know okay. what they taste like. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just want a bite of that slaw, actually. That slaw. Beautiful, right? Mmm. Yummy. Yum. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So good, babe. Thank you. It needs cheese Thumbs and up. crema. Well, we do dairy-free. That's why we don't put it on there. But yeah, you can totally do that. Listen, you can top it with so anything good. you... <clears throat> you want it's just about the uh the uh mm -hmm. texture or the uh the uh, technique next time we should do deep fried fish. yeah i still have that oil here from last week i've been i've been looking for something else to deep fry mm -hmm. right mm, so good man thank you lavar tus manos amor got a little bit of wine here too mm -hmm. gotta finish that off got some more wine coming but i'm still stocked up here with our keto wine Hope you guys enjoy that when it comes in the mail soon. All right. And then tomorrow night, I'm not sure what we're going to make. It's going to be something, por I think pork chops, because it's going to be sponsored by Thrive Market again. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to launch a, a pantry quarantine video. We have two of those. I should be ready to go. It's going to be really good, right? So. The art is quiet because he's drooling. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I hear ya. So on Venmo okay. alone, we got $465. PayPal doesn't give me the uh, exact amount. I think on Super Chats, we're at how much? We're at um, 181. 181, so 465 plus 181 plus figure another what? I don't know, two, 300. So we're over a thousand bucks for sure. Which is really cool. The request for me to make something sweet tomorrow. Ooh, dinner and dessert tomorrow? All right. That could be interesting. I um, mean, in case we didn't say it here, I'm not we sure if we... Uh, Christine, <laughs> Cynthia, Gary, Amy, Terry, Kevin, and Madeline. I'm not sure if I mentioned those coming in here. I can probably see my... Uh, I can't see that, actually. We'll figure it out. We'll do it all tomorrow. So I have some other money in there, too. Hey. Rachel Murray, still can't find you on Venmo. Any suggestions? Um, so here, one more Robert time. Robert Dash Parish. Yeah, if for some reason you can't find me, so it's at Robert Dash Parish, or maybe even easier for you, try to scan my, what's that called, the QR code? Yeah. Scan that through the phone here. Yeah. Maybe that'll pop up. I'll hold it here for a few seconds here. Yeah, thank you, Taylor. I appreciate that. Okay, so that's it, you guys. And they can always go back and replay it. Yeah, always replay. You'll find it. Uh, tomorrow night, same time, same bat time, same bat channel. And then we'll probably take the weekend off so my eye, the bags under my eyes can recover. And then we'll 
fire up the gazpacho again and we'll do the uh, same thing next week because, hey, I don't know if we can do this all the way through April, uh, but we're definitely going to do way more live streams than normal. But doing every day of the week might be a little much, but you never know, right? So that is it. We're going to finish uh, making these tacos right now. Art will see you soon. Rose crawling around. We'll see you soon. I got to grab her. Desi will see you soon. Uh, can't wait to donate over a thousand bucks to feed the fight. If you don't know about them, I put a link in the description box. Really, really cool stuff. Um, keep donating if you can. Spread the word. The live stream is going to be here for 24 hours and then we'll uh, donate. But I will see you very soon. Until then, we say into you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. And go Cubs go whenever you play again.